I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Oh. He's out somehow. He's out. He's out. <laughs> Okay, okay, you gotta chill with the somehow. <laughs> like, I know you're frustrated that this piece of shit ain't calming, but he is calming a bit, okay? He did call the guy sewers. He's just, he's not as into it as you, but at least, you know, he's calming. He baited you a bit, but he got his two. Jet's out, Kildra's out. Jet out, Kildra's out. One ramp, 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 ramp. Heaven, heaven, heaven. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're a bit too. This is a bit too much. This is like rain of heaven. No, I have to say heaven, 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 rain, 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 rain. This is rain of seven. To chill out a bit. It's just a good habit to build. In this type of scenario, we'll still draw rain alive. These people need to coordinate um, their abilities as well. Um, so usually when you like watch like a VCT comms and you see like more people talking and you hear heaven like three times, it's because three people are saying it. Not because one person's saying it three times. Sometimes somebody says it multiple times if they really feel their team didn't notice. But I think this heaven comm gets registered. Like just they're coming out, amen. Rain is heaven. Hey, you see, like they blinded her. They're they're dealing with it. Last two out, last two outside. One tell, one tell. I think. Nah, and uh, yeah, see, you're getting dizzy. We have a passive mid. We have just a passive mid hole. Yes, yeah, be careful because that's how you're going to get yourself muted by these guys. <laughs> There's like a healthy balance. Oh, right across. Nice. nice. I'm coming for heal, Scott. Can you live? Come rope, come rope. Okay. This guy's muted you, dog. <laughs> I knew it. You're getting muted. You're getting muted. The comms are like so close to being really good, but they're, they're too annoying. That's it. I need you not to do that. And now if you haven't been muted yet, you just got yourself muted, okay? You, you need to assume, and this, this is a really hard thing to do, but this is a good way to live life as well. The way we judge ourselves is by our intentions, but the way we generally judge others is by their actions. And this is what makes us, like, as humans, get mad at other people a lot. Because when we make a mistake, we go, oopsies, didn't mean to do that. And when somebody else makes a mistake, mistake, we go, why the hell are you maliciously throwing my ELO, you piece of shit? <laughs> Want to get coached? It's free. Join the Discord, read the VOD submission rules, submit a VOD for my moderation team to approve, and then show up to any VOD review stream and enter the raffle. Check the events tab on my Discord to see when the next VOD review stream is. Enjoy the video. We have a Harbor Man Glow? Mortal 3? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, haven't I played with you? <laughs> it's on the enemy team yesterday. Oh, wait, wait, were you? Oh my god, I am so sorry. This was you. You bot fragged in the Lotus game on Loud's team. Oh no. Oh. I, I knew I knew your name from somewhere. Okay, Glow, let's, let's figure out how to stop doing this. A pro took my harbor? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. You literally had a 900 RR world champion want to play Harbor and you know, you let him. I can't blame you for that. All right, all right. You guys ready for the coolest teching feature of this whole thing? So we run this VOD command. We type their Discord username. We'll just say glow. Their riot ID, which is glowstone portal, hashtag NA1, and then their rank, Immortal 3. And then look at the stream. Look at the stream. Bam, bam. I spent three hours building that yesterday. Hmm. Okay. The only thing is this is a pattern for recon initiators as well, which, of which there's none in this lobby, but imagine that this guy's Sofa real quick. So Sofa's a lot of the time will instant recon at the start of the round because the ability recharges. However, there's one exception and that's pistol round. Um, because on pistol round teams really like to death ball and rush. And so usually within the first three seconds of the round, you're going to have info from like this Killjoy or this Reyna, and you're going to know what site it is. And I like holding rechargeable abilities just on pistol round. So if you're going to wall instantly A, I feel like we could get burned by that on pistol, just because it's more likely for the enemy team to rush on pistol than any other round. Nothing A crossed. You can leave right now. Close. Go, 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 go. Close, close. They could have gone vents. Oh. Yeah, and there they are. 
Okay, wall vents, wall vents, it's B. Wall vents, B. You see, there's the entire death ball. <laughs> That's literally exactly what I predicted. All four of them together is a, a big ball. So that's like a little solo queue optimization. Last player standing. 26 Joe. Okay. Spike planted. Let's see it. Bro, toys killed me with his frenzy in our Lotus game glow. Just like that on pistol round. And I swear that I think Frenzy is the gun you should be buying on pistol. Like, I don't know. Just look at the kill feed. But you even bought a Frenzy this game. What are you doing? You were on the hype train. You too good for it or what? Frenzy's way too RNG for me. Nah, nah. This is lit. Oh, bro, your teammates are selling it. I gotta check the pre round. We can just tuck on site right here. Right there. They don't have any util to clear us out. Okay, so what I like to call in these scenarios, and my tier threes can back me up because they attend my rank streams and they know I'm not lying. The most important thing on these stacks is they don't see you when they're at a point where they can cancel the hit. So, for example, your teammate who takes this martial fight from screens is trolling. Um, and then this person swinging ramps off of that is trolling. Because the enemy team is going to be here. That's going to happen. And they're going to, like, piece the f*** out. So, what I like to call is a deep alarm pot. So, my most recent example of this was I was playing Icebox. And I asked my Killjoy to put her alarm bot here. And I had my entire team just hide back sight. And once the alarm bot popped, we all swung. And we won the round and we won like 12 to 2 that game but this is how we converted an eco round and the point is once they're in this circle they're like way too committed to a and if anything they think you're stacked b because they don't see anything a so you've correctly identified that they don't have recon which is lit so as long as you don't get an egotistical pro on your team who doesn't think that you know anything about the game you ask them to place this alarm bot and then you can play like flowers close and then ramps and when the alarm bot triggers you can like pop a molly the ramps guy can then come out the screens guy can peek with his marshal you jump out with your shorty this guy peeks out and it's like you set the trap Does that makes sense you want them to commit to the hit before you kill them and that's the gamble you can take to win the eco harder exalt shame it's not just exalt you guys should have been watching even on <laughs> it's like every pro it's fine if you were in a thousand rr player and some no-name person you never heard of started igling and you disagreed with them you wouldn't listen either but like conan was ignoring me on this loaded game as well when i was trying to adjust the killjoy setup there's no hate towards the pros for that yeah so i would i would try and set up that killjoy alarm bot personally if i'm trying to win as hard as possible which to be fair i'm not always doing but i presume you are okay. you're going for radiant like you're like you see the turret's a problem see the enemy team's like oh killjoy's a because your raise is the right idea she's flowers you're close but yeah it's not gonna work nothing cross is this just um this is just a normal wall okay and you'll spot them crossing real quick because they can't like easily peek you just making sure i'm understanding the wall it's just awkward for them to peek because when they peek out they get like sort of blinded by this wall right okay Good man. You can leave right now. Better to follow your yeah. teammates' calls, even if well, your instinct in the moment disagrees with them? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can't be validating oh, calls. It's too slow. Are they have cross vent? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm, um... So, you've got the right worry. I would back up. You've got man advantage. You've got gun advantage. You've got a raise. Retakes on this map are really friendly as long as you have heaven control. So I just come over here. I mean, I might stay in heaven and control this way. Let me actually boot up split. You got to understand that um, heaven control is super important on split. 
and retakes are really easy if uh the bomb's not planted for heaven or if you just have complete heaven control and then of course you have a one number advantage and a gun advantage so the decision making here is pretty straightforward so you can play like over here for like info you see them come up heaven you maybe kill one but that doesn't matter and you come back here and now your team right floods over right there and you flood and take heaven control and play retake and it's like super fine because with heaven control retakes easy you've got a raise you can nade satchel out the worst thing that can happen is like you're gonna be over here and you're gonna have to fight here and get traded and they get your vandal so this is like map specific stuff i'm gonna quickly give examples of where this is okay and not okay so a playing 5v4 retake good this you're you're winning same on b on split but a lot of the time planting the bomb is like a man advantage so on icebox b 5v4 retake is losing um a it's losing like if both teams get to full reset fracture it can be winning on a if you've got good util b is usually losing ascent b is winning a is losing pearl it's about whether or not the bomb's planted in the open if it's planted here you're chilling it's planted out here you're probably losing the retake without a bigger advantage similar idea for b it's planted safe you're probably winning the retake if it's planted in the open you're probably losing the retake and so you have to keep these things in mind when you're positioning so splits the easiest retake map by far and you've got the strongest retake agent for the easiest retake map and you're playing harbor who's also like really good for retakes Lotus and Haven way more complicated and you're almost never going to get into 5v4 retake on those maps. I smoked across. One's my favorite running mid right now. I mean, I could walk out in there. Smoked mid? Enemy mid. Are they coming pushing you? Bro, you're getting no comms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'll, 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 I'll be in. It's, it's B, it's B. Right? Yeah, so even here, I'm like knifing out through CT with um, Reyna. Reyna, I'll hold it. Because this is really risky. Finish. Both mid. And um... One enemy remaining. Hold me off. I'm wall wall. You actually didn't get this comm. Holy. Okay, then. Dude, I cannot stand that in a, like this ELO, you're not getting comms like that. It, Riot Games, if you are watching, can we just like ban people who are immortal and up who aren't down to calm? <laughs> like, I really don't care. I'm not going to lie. If you're immortal and up and you're queuing ranked and you're not calming, get out, man. Go play unrated. Rina, if you want, I don't care if you're platinum you and you're no comming, you know, whatever. You don't, you're not trying to compete at the highest level. But if you're like immortal three, like this guy's literally playing in the top 2000. This guy's so high MMR, he popped some world champions yesterday. Maybe it's an ego thing. No, it's not. Even these egotistical pros, when I get them on my team, these guys give good comms. They give good comms. They might not listen to mid round IGLing, but they call out everything. Everything. It's lit. Uh, nothing. So, right. two or three mid right now. Here's a strong smoke. I'm on HP, I need heal. I'm running away. Careful, careful. I need heal. I'm coming back to you. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. I'm not sure about this cove. Running away. Do you think they're A-site? Careful, careful. I need heal. I'm coming back to you. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. 3 2 here. Could be in a heaven. Heal up, squad. Aye, aye. Yep, that's both, that's both. That's both. Heal up, squad. One map. Okay. One health. Oh, sight. Yeah, so you're actually chilling here. It's like chill. You should wait till they look to start planting because we got heaven control. Check. We got numbers advantage. 
Check. The onus is on them to plant the bomb. Help. You can just heck and chillax. Sight. That's Sight. tough. You got laid out. Oh, um, I'm coming out. Hey, DP'd out. DP'd out. DP'd out somewhere. Could be heaven. DP'd default. 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 Pat, TP'd backside. Backside. Last no way Reyna dies to that, dude. <laughs> good shit. Good shit. Oh. <laughs> they have a watch her spawn after. Nothing I cross. Nothing. What fault do you mean? Okay. Smoke mid. I'm not out yet. Amazing comms. Yeah, from our hecking single player who's dead, yeah. calling out everything he sees. Ball. Nice to the VOD versus me. He wouldn't be able to. It's too poor of a performance. I hear. Spot. Sewer. Hey. One might be trying to lurk up in here. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. He's out somehow. He's out. He's out. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, you gotta chill with the somehow. Like, I know you're frustrated that this piece of shit ain't calming, but he is calming a bit, okay? He did call the guy sewers. He's just, he's not as into it as you, but at least, you know, he's calming. He baited you a bit, but he got his two. Jet's out, killer's out. Jet out, killer's out. One ramp, 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 ramp. Heaven, heaven, heaven. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're a bit too. This is a bit too much. This would be like rain of heaven. No, I have to say heaven, 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 rain, 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 rain. This is rain of seven. To chill out a bit. It's just a good habit to build. In this type of scenario, we will still draw rain alive. These people need to coordinate um, their abilities as well. Um, so usually when you like watch like a VCT comms and you see like more people talking and you hear heaven like three times, it's because three people are saying it. Not because one person's saying it three times. Sometimes somebody says it multiple times if they really feel their team didn't notice. But I think this heaven comm gets registered. Like, just they're coming out, amen. Rain is heaven. Hey, you see, like, they blinded her. They're, they're dealing with it. Last two out, last two outside. One tell, one tell. I think. Nah, uh, and uh, yeah, see, you're getting dizzy. We have a passive mid. We have just a passive mid hole here. Yes, be careful because that's how you're going to get yourself muted by these guys. <laughs> There's like a healthy balance. It's kind of like that make me play worse. Well, you're silver, dang guys. No offense, but everything makes you play worse. Like it, just somebody talking in your head would make you play worse. These players, they hear heaven and they look heaven. It is it is useful. They're playing a different game. Hey, hey. One cross, two cross. Reyna out, cross. Oh, dead Reyna. Yeah, like these cons are way better. These cons are way better. This round is lit. Like, watch it back. Hey, hey. One cross, two cross. Reyna out, cross. Oh, dead Reyna. You count everything once. That's perfect. Perfect. One girl who played your Roomba. Uh, all dead, all dead. Thing hard. Hey, Cole, I'm on HP, I'm on HP, I'm backing up. Sky, can you help me? Elbow, elbow hit me. Elbow hit me. Elbow hit me. Tough. Yeah, so just don't repeat it. That's it. You would be like, Sky, I'm coming elbow. I need a heal. And then if she doesn't heal you, chilling. Whatever. If you like, if you get a break, like the action completely stops, you can ask again. But you don't just repeat for the sake of repeating. Like sometimes teammates won't listen after telling them once. Yeah, but of course they won't. Um, even professional players don't listen to mid rounds. It's all about the statistics. Okay. When you ask once, let's say arbitrarily 30% of the time they listen. Okay. So you gain value. And then 70% of the time they ignore your ass. When you ask a second time, let's say you increase it to 40%, but you also introduce a 20% chance that you get muted. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You just ask once and you're chilling. Apex comms can get a bit heated. It's different when you're in a stack as well. Okay. Because I think when you guys are talking about Apex, I you're sort of also talking about being with your homies. Um, I've played Apex. I'm decently high ranked in the game. If you're five stack in Valorant and doing this and nobody's complaining, I don't care. You played Master Solo Queue, they're all like this. Okay, well, I played Master Solo Queue and they weren't all like this. I, my anecdotal evidence has countered yours. Oh, okay. Two there. I'm push walling, I'm push walling. Wait, wait, wait. Good. 
I don't hear it. I don't hear it. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. That's tight. Wait, he's tight? Anecdotal checkmate. <laughs> yeah, bro, nobody was calming in my solo games, but the moment I three stacked, yeah, it was very vocal. Oh. I can kill Omen. He TP'd up a main. Okay, okay. I would have stayed on that box. They don't have a good pop flash and this is a really tough call but you've got killjoy off for retake they won't be able to plan for heaven if you maintain full ramps control you don't know if omen tp'd rafters or ramp by the way so just be careful like on top of the box unless you're like different i don't think you're different like that though omen could be heaven actually omen could be rafter yeah exactly oh you got the right read free sight Elbow, elbow, one. Map, elbow, map. Damn, he got cooked. Good map. Free sight. Elbow, elbow, one. Map, elbow, one, map. Good map. Tough. Yeah, that's a tough start to the round. Your teammate just gets picked oh, off by a sheriff. Oh, Reyna crossed. Nice. I'm coming for heals, guys. Can you live? Come rope, come rope. This guy's muted you, dog. <laughs> I knew it. You're getting muted. You're getting muted. The comms are like so close to being really good, but they're they're too annoying. That's it. I need you not to do that. And now if you haven't been muted yet, you just got yourself muted, okay? You you need to assume, and this this is a really hard thing to do, but this is a good way to live life as well. The way we judge ourselves is by our intentions, but the way we generally judge others is by their actions. And this is what makes us like as humans get mad at other people a lot because when we make a mistake we go oopsies didn't mean to do that and when somebody else makes a mistake mistake we go why the hell are you maliciously throwing my elo you piece of shit? <laughs> you gotta kind of assume that these guys all just want to win okay this guy made a mistake we don't know why but i doubt she's like trying to actively throw the game that's unlikely it's more likely that she muted you because she found you annoying, which is, you know, understandable. You've probably muted somebody because you found them annoying. And so she didn't hear the comp. It's fine. It's all good. Now, am I going to rage at her ass when I'm not holding push to talk? My tier threes who watch my rank streams will say yes. And I will also say yes. I'm still going to... My subconscious still judges them for their actions immediately. Like, that's my gut instinct. So, you know, I won't hold calm and be like, what the is this piece of sky doing pushing out mid when i'm asking for the heal but then i'll like you know hold push to talk and be like you got killjoy can you route ct or whatever you know have you ever gotten muted Wuhujin? of course what do you mean no how would i even know you can't what, what what type of question even is that what the hell no i've never gotten muted i'm cool like that <laughs> so yeah we gotta chill this is actually a big problem this is a big problem Not yet. so one second I'm all your aim Okay. Nice. Up. Oh, 120 plus. This is good. This is good. We're going to go over nice. good comms. You say oh, nice. You say I'm walling plus. your aim in. One comm each. Good. All good. Yeah, so we gotta be careful. Uh, this is the most dangerous thing to say because this translates to I think it's your fault. <laughs> this translates to I think my death is your fault, you, you piece. <laughs> and it doesn't really matter what the intentions behind your comm is because these people don't judge you by your intentions. They judge you for your actions. You gotta remember that. What if you add my bad to the end of it? What if you just say one ramps when you die to one ramps? You ever thought about that? And then after the round be like, I'm sorry, Killjoy. I swung ramps too early. My bad. After the round. Then you're chilling. 
Not I thought you were with me. D the, never calm this. The only time you calm that is when you're playing with the homies and you're trying to explain to the homie that they made an error and you want them to fix it. So for example, I can give you a time where I have calmed something like that. I'm playing with like Brad, I'm Pearl. And I'm like, yo, Brad, let's push up B-Long. No, no, no breaks. We're going to walk all the way into their spawn. And then we get, I get to like here, I die. And Brad's like back here. I'm like, oh, Brad, I thought the plan was to push up B-Long. What happened? That's fine. That's fine. He's my buddy. Okay. But you're playing with four strangers. Hell, you're even playing in the in houses in this server. And these guys screw up the play. You don't go, yo, I thought we were doing this. You just go, all good. All good. Nice try. You go next round. Happens. There's a deviation. Who knows why? It's all good. And then you let go of push to talk and you rage at the killjoy for not calming that she wasn't following you. You know what I'm saying? There's like three here. Damn, you're aiming at the right height. Wait, this guy plays shotguns. I'm backing up now. Hold That's on. open. Falling off, they left, they left. Spike down. I'm it's open fully. Holy bomb. shit, you just got bombed. I would actually keep the judge for now. Bro, back up. This rule applies for everyone. Checkmate. This is a really hard habit to build, but it can, it's, I actually think pretty much always the right decision. This is one of the few times where the game is very straightforward. If you get a kill that results in a plus two or more and you can safely chill, then you go chill. Okay. Just go chill. It converts more often. Than this. In my in my yeah, that ended up being a straight 50. Uh, look, we've lost checkmate. You see? Two, nice. two, one, two. And now look, do you notice what our teammate Raze has? Uh, last two, last two. You hear that? That's a sheriff. She could totally have not nice. killed that guy. You see on the kill feed, she hit a sheriff headshot right here. That's not a conversion that you can bank on. It could totally be two versus two right now. Does that mean you cash out on alert earlier to create a checkmate? In a high level game, if all you care about is winning, yes, scumbag. There's a reason that pro players cash out on their lurks early, very frequently. Uh, but if you want to look cool, then no, you don't cash out on that lurk till you get two. Please, please. I'm so insane, bro. You're not insane. You're not insane. You know what this guy is thinking to herself and saying to her Twitch chat right now? Why did this Harper keep fighting like a dumbass? And she's right. You're not insane. You would have been insane after killing Sage and Omen if you backed up. That would have been insane. That would have been fabulous gameplay. But now your teammates are in a one and a half if you won. This is fucking Bucky with no armor. Backside clear. Nice, good round. Yeah, this is super losable. Backside clear. He's got to be up on you. Nice. That's a straight 50. That's a straight 50. The outcome of this round was basically determined by this right here. Like you gotta keep in mind, I'm only seeing one VOD, but if you make that type of decision every time, which you likely do, you're losing a lot of rounds because of that, that you're not noticing, okay? Because that round was nearly 50-50 because of the decision we made. So you play 10 games and I guarantee you've lost like at least five, six rounds due to that. I wouldn't peek. Oh, left, left, actually, no. It's Ooh, B, you're, it's B, it's B. You've got good space yeah, now, though. Fritzing off, fritzing off. It's B for sure here. You're so with this guy's ping, looks pretty stable to me. B for sure, race. Careful sewer, careful sewer, race. Kill draw also sewer. Car, car, car. Oh, nice, huge. I have a kill. Wait, wait, wait. And look, listen to your comm. After Ray's turns it into checkmate, listen to what you come. Hello. Killjoy also sewer. Car, car, car. Oh, nice. You're literally trying to get this guy to back up. You're like, yeah, yeah, chill, 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 chill. And then she backs up. You're like, nice. But if you were in that scenario, you would have just swung and gone for your clip. But now imagine Ray's swings and goes for her clip and dies. You're mad. You're mad. 
I have a kill. Wait, wait, wait for me. Wait for me to take contact first. Sotan goals. Thank you for the prime. Cast cross. Thank you for the tier one. Nice. We can fight if you want. Okay, beautiful. Oh, they're pushing, pushing, pushing. Hmm. That fight's debatable to give. I think you need to stop the cascade. I think if you stop this cascade, like here, then this fight's all right. But because it keeps going, like it goes past the rain of flash, which is going to blind you. Yeah, I think the fight against it is above a 50 if you stop the cascade. So I think we got to keep that in mind. You also got to keep in mind that they're on eco. Is it really worth giving them a 60 40? Because remember when you're Let's say you've got a 40% chance of winning the round, okay? Put yourself in their shoes or a 30% chance of winning the round. You're on a really bad buy. Well, then if we look at the um, the piecewise function, which indicates whether or not we should take a fight. Um, remember, if the odds of winning the fight is better than our odds of winning the round, then we're down. We're down. And so I'm not going to disagree that you can take the fight because the odds of you winning it, of course, are still greater than 50. And so I'm down. But I think you can find a fight that's even better than this pretty easily, Ramps. And this model is kind of naive and doesn't min max everything for like players who are aiming for the true top. Like, throw this cascade. Yeah, you can fight this guy. But I don't think you need to. I think you can fight them from like here. And you're like, you got a bigger advantage. Ooh. Rush, maybe. Nothing. <laughs> All right. Look, nice kill. Great fast lurk. Leave. Just leave. Checkmate. You've done it. Just don't do this. Just stop. You just leave right there. You're chilling. You didn't cash too early? God, no. It's checkmate. It's lit. They're gonna wall. Be ready. One van? If you're playing for content, you see checkmate, you look for better, you know? You're playing to hit Radiant? Yeah, of course you cash out in the 4v3 when you've got one. And to be clear, like Dennis Lup asking, Dennis, you are gold. It doesn't matter what you do. You can reach Immortal by pushing in that scenario every single time, okay? Radiant is a different, different beast. Push this race. Close, close, close. He's close here. Come take me. Take me with me. Take me with me. Come be, come be, come be, come be. Okay, go away, go away. Fuck it, go away. Fuck it, go away. Close, 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 close. Shoot that guy, shoot that guy. Like if Glow wants to hit Radiant, he's got to beat me because I want to hit Radiant. I'm not radiant yet either. And I never greed, or I'm trying to never greed in those plus two advantages. And so, well, it has to be better than me. it to be better than me. You don't, you can't hit radiant without being better than the guy who's immortal three, immortal two uh, even right now. Nice, go, go. For heaven, for heaven. 84 in last guy. Oh, I sound so on edge. You guys are all cringe, honestly. This is how comms sound, okay? If you haven't heard like high level comms, let's see. They're gonna come A. Slow key. Get it. Oh, above me, above me. Dead. We have bridge, hold on. We have bridge, hold on. Guarding, One more, one more. On the right side. Flashing, flashing. Okay, this is, this is how you come at a high level. Backside. Backside. Flashing, close. Backside, backside. Backside, I'm pretty sure. He's coming quickly and with a raised voice so that you can easily hear it. Like if you're coming like this, I genuinely don't hear your calm half the time. It's really annoying. A sense of urgency in the comms is important, but you also need to understand that when you talk, when you talk like this, people are going to listen to you. And if you say something of low value, they're going to mute you because it's annoying. So if you just start talking about the, your favorite flavor of pizza while coming like this, or you say A main seven times in a row, even though they already know that they're A main, they're going to get annoyed. But if you just go A main, I'm walling for you ramp, then they're happy. They're happy. Okay. Yeah, Fruitless Tech, I, I faced this guy on Lotus yesterday. 
Oh, he's close B being with the shorty. What's he saying? Uh oh. Not sure Uh oh. Going back B. Yeah, plant for B main, plant for B main. I'm holding heaven. Heaven, one, heaven, one. Down. Oh, you saw him TP. Nice, huge kill. You don't want this fight, dog. Dog, dog. You don't want this fight. As a left side leaves that gap with the harbor wall, it's probably just unintentional. Call it flash. Raise. Go double satchel. Call it. Flashing. <laughs> 104. Nothing else. He, has, he's gonna be, he went deep. He went deep. He went deep. Oh, you got a clear right side here. Oh, I'm, I'm full blind, I'm full one fence. One fence. Rain got me. Got me. Rain got me. Rain got me. Rain got me. Rain got me. No heal. No heal. All three, all three. Last two, last two, last two. You can take a beat. Last one behind you. Okay, 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 okay. It's comms. It's comms, Glow. We just have to fix your comms. You're losing a lot of value the way that you're talking. Um, all three, all three. Last two, last two. This guy has all the info, okay? He knows that they're both right here. Shut up. There's nothing more you calm now, okay? You don't calm anything now. She knows everything. Last two are CT. Now shut up. I don't care if you think this is the right play. Unless this is your duo partner who trusts you to make comms like that, you let her play the clutch however she wants, and then she dies and she plays it the way you don't like it, you just go, bang, nice try. Or if she plays it the way you don't like and she wins, you go, nice! And if she heckin' plays it the way you like and wins, you go, damn, you're so smart. Exactly what I would have done. Whatever. But let this guy fight. I, I already bet you're going to tell her she has ult too. I think he's spanking you. Oh my god, you even worse. You backseated her alarm bot. Oh, Gonna have turret. Placing swarm grenade. Placing swarm grenade. Did you give suggestions? No. No, 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 no. No. You if you're dead, your teammates in the clutch. Well, let, let me tell you what you can come while you're dead, okay? Nothing while well, it's one guy alive, unless they don't have info. Like if you have information they don't have, like you know Killjoy's location for whatever reason, and your Killjoy doesn't know that. You calm that, okay? But you don't tell them, yo, do this, okay? This dude, he's making all of his own decisions. Now, however, if there's another guy right here, we'll call him Bob. Now you can calm, okay? Now you can help them set up a crossfire. You can help them set up team play, but you don't tell them to be like, Yo, Killjoy, fight them or something. You just be like, yo, you can double up backside high low. That's fine. That's fine. But you don't tell one person to do anything. You're going to get muted. Bro, you just tell Push to talk to say, I told you about the turret. Whoa, whoa. You're winning nine to five. You're trying to throw. You're trying to lose. Off, 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 off. What are you? She can see, bro. She knows that they have to, and she knows that they're off. She's trying to aim right now. There's a, there's a clip I really like. Um, <laughs> I, I can't find this one on demand, but... So it's Zoms, okay? He's in a 1v1 clutch. It's not Pearl, but it doesn't matter. And the bomb is planted here and Zoms is in the post plant, okay? Uh, on attacker's side. And Zoms hears the diffuse sound. 
and his teammate says, yeah, they're diffusing. And Zom's just holds push to talk. And he's like, oh, is that what that sound is? I didn't know that. And then you see him hold tab and he mutes his teammate. <laughs> it's like, no shit, she halved it. And no shit, she's not on it. This guy's gonna... You're lucky this guy's not screaming at you. He's probably just muted you. They walled us off. I'm jumping. Keep the wall, keep the wall. There's a gun down for you, sir. Oh, right next to shit on us. Yes, he got out, he got out. I'm gonna TP, bro. Yes, he got out, he got out. Ulted, it's worth it, worth it, worth it for this round. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> he just ulted of his own volition, I guarantee it. So charge 120. 120. Holy fuck. Shut up. I, I would mute you so hard now. <laughs> Bro, we'll go over it in VOD review. Stop talking about the previous round. The coolness meter, it's gone. Gone. We we weren't even losing the game, but I think we might now. Honestly. Oh, we barely win. We barely win. I don't need to see more. Your comms are so close to being great. Okay, it's easy fix. Communication etiquette. No hindsight. <laughs> no live VOD review. We should have totally done X instead. The way you calm like that is like let's say you keep dying to the team like fast rushing a mate and you're getting really mad that you're holding it poorly okay instead of going yo let's stop doing this this sucks let's do this instead all you do is go yo they're rushing a main every round can we try this damn you just don't even talk about the previous strategy just don't even talk about the previous strategy so they're doing x a lot can we try y don't talk about the previous decisions because it doesn't matter you're not a five stack team with these guys you're gonna lose them anyways I wouldn't even put please, Ariga, because like that can get passive aggressive. Like, yo, can we try why please? <laughs> like, <laughs> you have to be really careful with the way you ask. <laughs> I feel like please can get passive aggressive even. Okay, 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 okay. No, I thought you were doing X. <laughs> try to keep callouts to one iteration. Avoid repeats unless it seems very obvious that they missed the first call out. Okay, good, good, good. No back in. No back seating clutch. Only calm information they might not have. Can I repeat the call out when they die? What do you mean? You mean like one A main and then you kill them? You, yeah, you should say dead. A main dead. That's fine. That's a different call out. Let's so say like uh, calming kills is fine. Okay, encouraged. Honestly, like you want to calm kills. Yeah. <laughs> I told you is single strike offense. <laughs> no, I think he gets the idea. I think he gets the idea. It's not like Glowstone is actively trying to be a detriment to these teams comms. In fact, it's almost certainly the opposite. He's trying to win. He's trying to get to Radiant. This is why you need uh, the third perspective. You can look at your own VODs and be blind to these things. Like you feel it's obvious looking at Glowstone's VOD, but you miss these things in your VODs every time. Because you you give yourself the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? You judge yourself by your intentions and not by your actions. But I'm judging Glow right now by his actions. Because I'm not Glow. I'm Wahoojin.